Hello and welcome, Paul here. And today I am playing more Raft. Now, I was making my way over there. As you can see in the distance, there is a Raft floating on the water. That is one of the many Rafts that you can come across as you are traveling and you can get your hands on a box of rewards that normally sit on top. Unfortunately, my paddle broke as I was trying to make my way to it. Anyway, you've probably noticed a bunch of holes. These holes are here for these net collectors, which I'm going to put down now. These will automatically collect anything that comes into its path, which is very useful. It means I don't have to be constantly catching stuff, which is just wonderful. That sound you can hear is the sound of it uh, collecting. Just put that there, put this one here. Now I'm doing it in this kind of shape because I want to collect as much from the sides as possible. Now you could just do like an L shape and you'll catch the front, back, left, right, but I'm going to just do it this way for now. Too far out. Some stuff will miss it of course, but it makes my life so much easier. Oops, let's see if I can grab that. Perfect. Oh, and there's one over there. I'm gonna grab that as well. As you can see, it's already working well, collecting stuff. Now there is a limit on how much these can capture or collect until you upgrade them or until you make the uh, advanced net collectors, which can take about 15 items. I think this takes about six thereabouts. But yes, definitely useful to have. Now, I do need to get one on this corner. I'm probably going to keep crafting these. And uh, the reason why I have all of this wood on the outside is because I just wanted to protect them, pretty much. Get out of it. It's mostly just to protect them. Now... I was having trouble putting, you know, things in between. I think I just made a mistake, so I just ended up going with this, but I actually quite like this a little bit. It insets the collectors, and if I want to replace them down the road, I can without having to destroy the outer edge. Now, one thing I will be working towards at some point is making... If I can show you here in a moment, let me just bring these barrels in. I never want to miss a barrel if I can help it, because they just give me so many resources. Always too good to pass up. So one thing I can do is make foundation armor. And if I were to put this, or if I was to fortify any block, it would add a metal ingot to it and basically give it a metal frame. That way, this guy won't be able to bite it. Oh, I killed the shark. There we go, gotta loot. Gotta loot that raw shark meat, we'll be able to cook that up. And now I gotta swim as fast as I can. Just eat a couple of beets, there we go. Now that shark won't come back for a few minutes yet, so if I was at an island, I would have peace and quiet to go and do what I need to do. See, there's another raft to my left. Let's see, can I make a paddle? I, I really want to make a sail. There we go, we can actually make one. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I don't know where I want to put this. So for now, why don't we put it... I think we want it like that. Okay, now we want it like this. So we're going to put it smack bang in the center here. That pad there is an island up ahead, but there's that paddle there, so... Let's say we want to go this way. It should just start moving us this direction. So this is good. This is good. We're making a bit of progress now. 
Still having to constantly do stuff though. Never ends. We may end up missing this, but we'll see what we can do. Now, I did... I've got the shark head here and I can wear this. But as you can see, it's a little... Oh, wow, look at that. Big whale. I don't know what you can do with the whales. I don't know if you can hunt them or if they're just like a nice thing to kind of see while you're out adventuring. But that is very cool. It's massive. Very cool. I like that. So from those crates, you can sometimes get these little wrapped up parcels. And what they have is furniture, decor, like a recipe that you can craft. So we've got that now, which is nice. Uh, are we still going the right way? Probably ought to make a paddle just to ensure that we're on track. Let's make some more. There we go. There we go, I think that'll be good. Let's see. Oh, we're going past it. We're going past it. I just paddle our way over here. Now I'm only going to be quick. Because as soon as you get on this raft, it starts to sink. Oh. Okay, let's just drop the uh, clam. I could always find more. Got the... Oh. There we go. To the ship. And the shark is back. He took a little boy out of me, but I'm okay. Okay, so we are good now. We are good. Let me just go ahead and rotate this sail back. Just dead ahead. Perfect. Perfect. So my inventory is getting a little bit full. I'm going to need to make more storage. Uh, speaking of storage, can I make bigger storage yet? No, why not? What am I missing? So I did make a dry brick and we researched that, which is good. Storage requires a hinge. I don't have a hinge yet. Oh wait, no, we did have a dry brick in here. Here we go. So I'll be able to research this as well. And we learn more things like the smelter. So I am going to have to find an island. We also get a scrap hook, which is just a better... Okay, it can go further, hit harder, and a better fishing rod. Keep collecting items. Now we're just going to keep an eye out for some islands. There is one there, but kind of going past it. What I'm going to do now is do a bit more upgrading. I want to cook some more food. Do have a pineapple seed? Drops of watered. Perfect. Perfect. We're on a roll. We are on a roll. Just grab these. Let's see. Do I can make some more collectors? Now I know that. If you were to make a giant L and you did collectors 33 on either side, like a giant L, you would ca capture everything that comes your way regardless of direction, but that's going to be a bit too big for my needs, so we won't be doing that. Again. I can avoid letting these pass up. Perfect. So there's one over here. And as you can see, we're just collecting all sorts now, so it, it's all coming in quite nicely. Just sailing nicely. 
in the moonlight. I'm going to have to make some lights here soon. Now the collectors, they're under storage for some reason. Let me go ahead and make some more rope. Make a second net collector. Perfect. Go ahead and research this. Oh, what a hook. Perfect. Now I am thirsty. Although I do have a pineapple. Pineapple will refill me just a little bit. Perfect. I don't know how wide I'm going to have this yet. We will see. There's a lot of work going into this. Place with wood. Let me just check this out. One thing you can do is actually upgrade. And one thing I'll want to do eventually. I can't rotate that. Everything's going one way pretty much. I prefer it to go side to side, but that's fine. that way if I add on any more pieces I know the direction I want it to go it's gonna be lengthways now I put these on the outer edge just so sharks don't bite into them things like that just to uh, make sure I don't lose collectors because collectors take way more resources than just these regular slabs so just repair that and again, I want a ship that does look nice, so... That's why I'm doing this. And we want to go ahead and add on the corner pieces. Now we want to mirror these so we can get the grains going the right way. I'm going to have to remove some of these just to make it work, but... I can do that next time. Mirror option is nice. Plenty of resources coming in. We went past another island. Is it too late to go to it? That's a big one. It looks pretty big. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Even the barrels can be caught, which is nice. more of these decorative packages. A lantern requires metal lantern. Hmm. Where did that go? Let's just put this on this side. Perfect. Rotate that a bit more. And let me see here. Can I make myself an anchor? You rope. Shouldn't be a problem. Now, I don't necessarily need an anchor, but... make life easier we have to be careful when we get on this island there are enemies other than sharks there we go just got the seagull that's gonna be some bird meat for us Now I believe this is a bigger island, a big island. It's considered a big island, I should say. Personally, I prefer the small ones when it comes to get gathering resources. It's just easier. But it is what it is. We're almost there. 
I don't know the shape of this ship yet, but kind of keep going down the sides here. And it's still collecting everything, which is nice. I am going to need a new hook going onto this island. I'm also going to need to top up on everything. See what I, if you see that bird there, that's no seagull, that's uh, a vulture, and I am a little worried about them because there are these vultures in the game, and what they will do is fly around, they will land, pick up a rock, and then fly directly over your head and release the rock. So that can be very, very annoying to deal with. I kind of want to land on this side of the island if I can. Let's see if we can do that. I may not even stay here too long. Grab another plastic hook. Maybe just long enough to swim around. Grab what I need from below. Let's get another container up. very fast now I could just get my raft stuck so I don't waste the anchor because I feel this vulture is going to be a pain in my backside Let's just go over there. Should be safe in there. And there's a lot of trees on this island, but unfortunately that type of tree cannot be cut down. So it's not like I could go up here with an axe and chop everything down, make the most of it. No, that's not going to be good for me at all. Okay, let's go ahead and... How do I, how do I pull this up again? Truthfully, I don't know how. Let me just uh, knock this over here. If you're far enough away from the bird, he won't aggro onto your raft. So, <laughs> this sending us this way. How to... Oh, just click E. Perfect. Pulls back this way. And cross there. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to need some more water though. But yes, we're on this island. We're going to have a quick look around, see what we can find, and then I'm going to have to spend a bit of time. Down below. There we go, let's just eat that. Perfect. 
Now I did see a cave, so we're gonna go and explore that, just see what's in there. Sometimes there's a trader on these islands where you can trade for different things, but they normally require special items like uh, uh, fancy exotic fish. There is a boar over there I could fight. Killing the boar would give me leather, which is useful. Ah, right, so I need a shovel. Can I even make a shovel yet? No, I cannot. If I had a shovel, I could dig up these dirt mounds. Can I crawl in here? I can. We've got some cave mushrooms. We'll be able to try and grow these. Got what looks like an old shelter. Oh. Chest up there. Let's see, can I get up? Easy peasy. Oh, we've got some vine goo, we've got bolts, hinges. I could research that hinge. That'll be good. I may try to tangle with the boar so I can get the leather. I'll also get some meat as well, which is nice. But I am worried about the... About the bird. Yep, right there. The bird's already dropping rocks on me. If you're not careful, the boar will gorge you. Oh yeah, he's coming. Fortunately, it doesn't hurt the boar. Let me see, if I go all the way over here, maybe the bird will leave me alone. The ball won't follow. Where'd the ball go? There he is. He's got his rock. He's coming in. Coming in. And run jump. Okay, there we go. And I got caught by the ball. When you're circling around the boar, you've got to be very careful because if you accidentally get too close to it, it will just gouge you, which isn't good. You've got to be careful when in the water as well because that bird will drop a rock on you in the water. There we go. Let's see if going to my raft will put me away far enough. So I think what I'm going to have to do... Spend a bit of time... Collecting resources from down below. And then once I'm healed up, get back on the island. Oh, the damn birds. Go back on the island and take out that boar. Once the boar's gone, we can leave. But there is a lot of scrap and useful things for me to grab here, so I will be doing that. But before we do any of that, let me just quickly research... Hinge gives us the storage container, which is great. And the vine... Oops. And the vine goo gives us a whole lot of things. Empty bottle, sweep net, basic bow. How much of this do we need for the bottle? Because the bottle is a better way of carrying water. Or vine goo, okay. So that will come in time. That will come in time. Anyway, that's it for now. Like I said, I'm going to collect some resources and hopefully we can make our way through this island and see what's on here. Then we'll set sail and see what else we can find. Until next time, thank you for watching.